Hi everyone, I'm Vinila. Today I'm going to explain about organizer for Salesforce extension. So more than 50,000 plus users are using this extension. We have a lot of uh, features like uh, more options we have. Let's get into know about that. So users of organizer for Salesforce extension. Let's forget about your salesforce.com username and passwords. With Salesforce Organizer, you can store your frequently used accounts, username, password, login URL, and landing page. Login any account and a new tab, window, and incognito mode. Change an org tab and little to instantly recognize which tab belongs to which org. So first of all, you have to add extension to your org. Just easily type, you can type here, organizer for Salesforce. Yes, open this URL. This is the logo of organizer for Salesforce. Just add here, you, know, you can uh, button here, add. So you can add, uh, click on the button. Whenever you install that, uh, our extension, you can, on uh, top of the window, you can see here, Organizer for Salesforce button. Just click on that button. See, uh, we have to uh, create our uh, name, uh, username and password. First of all, you have to give your name, your name and username and uh, password. Wherever you want to log in, you are like production, sandbox, developer, or other, wherever you want to, uh, where, whatever you want to give, you can give here. And what, wherever you want to landing, like home or setup, you can click here, uh, you can select here, setup or other. Just uh, create here and create this, but create your uh, like password or username. We have a lot of options here, like, uh, what is this green button? Green button is open in a new window. For example, I can this. It will see it will open in a new tab, right? And next button is this button is open in a developer console. See, it will open developer console only. And this third button is orange button. It will open in a new window. Let's click on that button. See it will open in a new window, right? So it will use for all who are using uh, Salesforce org, it will useful for all. And see, after you add this extension, you can side of the window, you can see organizer tab here. Just click on this button. You can see a lot of options uh, like with links or profile chambers. Just go to this. Uh, I can click. I can uh, click quick links. So you can type here whatever you want to uh, go to this. Like I can type here standard object. See, uh, we have a lot of options like account settings, account teams. Just I can. Click on this account settings. It will e easily navigate with lightning speed, right? Uh, without this extension button, uh, you can go to the setup and search here account settings. Uh, it is a lot of uh, uh, time wasting, right? So it will useful for all. Next, quick console. Well, if you want to know about org ID, domain, session ID, or org info, or org limits, you can easily know about your org ID. Right, and we have a plugins here. Here also we have we have a lot of options. Quick query, you can query here. What uh, if select ID from account limit ten? I can execute here. See, we uh, it will query all account fields uh, ID with the name, and I can. Uh, limit 10 only, right? It will showing 10 uh, entries. So it will uh, useful. And, uh, after... and third button is execute anonymous. You can execute, uh, when you can execute code here without developer console, right? You can uh, write here your code and anonymous. It, 
will execute it. See, it will execute with anonymous. It will. So, go to the fourth option. This is the is object fields. Uh, let's do one thing. I can go to the uh, like case or contact. Context. Go to the record and I can copy this ID. And I can paste here and query all fields. See, if you, uh, um, you can see here, whatever you want to select a record, a contact record, you can see uh, with the uh, field name and uh, uh, label ID also. If you want to change here, you can edit this here. Active is no. Sorry. No. See, it will it will automatically change here. Let's refresh this page. See, automatically it will change here. Uh, changed. And go to the uh, pick arc describe. Uh, if you want to know about which uh, tabs. In your org, you can see account, uh, API name, and whatever you want, you can see here. The account, account change, event, account clean info. If I want to account fields, uh, what this describe here, you can see active, active context. And this is the quick org describe. And if you want to change uh, is, uh, 50 categories ID to 18 categories, you can change here. Yeah. I, yeah, this is the organizer for Salesforce extension. Thank you. Hello? Ah, sir. I have no? Yes, sir. Okay. So everyone is understood, sir. You can store your username and passwords. Okay, share once your screen. Yes, sir. So once you, uh, you know, right, how to add your username and password? Everyone is following, sir, what she has claimed. Yes, yes, sir. yes sir. Open your organizer once. Yes, sir. Uh, click on that Salesforce organizer. Hmm. So here, just you have to click new button, plus new button. So here you can add up to 10 accounts. Okay. So no need to remember username and password. Once you are adding username and password, you get login URL means if it is a production, log, uh, production, sandbox means sandbox. Developer edition, right? We are using, you have to take developer option here. So where you want to land, land page, home, classic, classic home, lightning experience home. LEX means what, sir? Lightning experience. Understand? Once you click the login button, where you want to navigate. Okay. Then name you can give, for example, CPQ practice or development practice or CPQ trailer the hard Like this, you can give the name, meaningful name. So once you give that meaningful name, then what once you create all these things, click a login. Uh, go to again back 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 page. Cancel. So here you can click the second option. If you click that option, what will happen? It will directly log into the your Salesforce system, sir. You no need to give username and password. Actually, you are giving some password wrong or what? So that it will not ask like this. It should not directly log in. No, sir. No, it will should it will be directly logged. Open that page again. Salesforce on here. Open other account once. Below. Huh. So. No. What is asking username and password for you? Okay, okay, click on that one. Maybe you are giving a different URL. Okay, okay sir, open chain. Hmm. Click on that one. 
last option last villain last no not last nas editor end end last right side complete right side last go ah se ikkada dane untadu left side ni left side aithe i think ikkada last option lo chudu new button kinda undi kada right side right side right side kinda ha click on it what is the log log in url you are giving you no need to give this url just see ikkada ikkada log in url yes sir ha ha at remove chesi other you would always developer set we are using which are now developer all right yes sir then you have to use developer if you, if you go production or login at salesforce.com production yes. sandbox at the sandbox understand yes sir update 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 hmm now you can click same one which one which which are you just modify now open that one again now you can see red login now yes sir adarvainda everyone is following what i am saying sir yes sir okay akkada nu name correct ivaledu andukane direct ga email username password if you are giving username and password there is no use again man milli username password ivandi malli maamulu work ekka sir adu what is use of extension so give more meaningful names like a developer sandbox right we are using practice and yes. nothing but developer sandbox only right yes this is a developer sandbox once you are joining any company they will give sandboxes that time you have to choose a sandbox production if you choose login at salesforce.com the real time for developer sandbox we have option for developer that one you have to choose understand yes yes, yes click a plus new button once or yes sir ha uh, yes. so login name is what sir your org name for example you are creating you want to use cpq trade org now what is the name you can give cpq trade org you give that name right Give name something. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, CPQ trader. CPQ trader. So that by seeing this name, you can easily understand. Yes, sir. No. Okay. This is nothing but a my CPQ practice or a trader. So group always default. You can leave it like this only. Okay. Username or username normal username. Give anything like example. Take anyone. No issue. Vinila CPQ or Salesforce dot com or anything. Don't give space and all. Let's suppose CPQ dot com is not password should be password. Then in the here, if you are uh, org is uh, like a sandbox developer org, which which one will you have today? Login one. Developer. Developer. Production. Production. Sandbox. Sandbox. Other one don't use other. We will not have any other thing. So like, what what is landing page here? Home. Home. So what is home? What is, what is home? Alex. Right. Lightning experience home is classic yes. US sir. Um, with uh, LEX means lightning. Uh, experience. Yes. Yes. Directly log in with the home experience. If you see now um, in the Salesforce are now which type is highlighted now? Home. Uh, home. Home sir. In, lightning. You could uh, lightning experience home type is highlighted now. Why? Yes. Because we are choosing home LEX. Yes sir. Okay, this is token. What is token? Anyone remember? Remember in the data loader we have something called security token. Put them now. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, that token you can store here. You can use it whenever you want. Again, no need to generate again token and again and again. Then click a create button. After doing all these things, with a single click you can log into the Salesforce org. Not only that one, then you can see the orgs here. Click on orgs left side. After logins, before logins, there is something called orgs. Before logins, fine. Ah, sure, sir. Yeah. Ah, uh, here you can see currently active orgs. the active orgs means what sir which orgs you have opened in the system now so one is which one this one you can see first one is dev ad and other one is amazon dev ad these are the two orgs you have you can give different color for this one for example choose this uh, color anything click on that one last right side uh so you can give any color name sir for example label name for example cpq org you can just give name with cpq org Give a different color here. Any other color? Choose any color. Click a save. Hmm. Just page. This page. Just refresh our page. Now you can see the last page, sir. Close it. Close it, sir. Huh? Close it. Button click, sir. So you can see now last hour. What is the uh, color coming, sir? We can find a confusion in the color. Pink. Yes. Huh. So by seeing this color, sir, you can easily identify which hour you open now. 
అర్థమవుతుందా సో ఆల్ దిస్ థింగ్స్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ఆర్ నాట్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేస్తారు ఇవన్నీ ఎందుకు మెయిన్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ దిస్ ఇస్ మెయిన్లీ ఫర్ లాగిన్స్ అండ్ లైక్ ఐడెంటిఫై దర్ and this is common like a home you want to do something called as subjects query and knowledge okay sir calling everyone sir yes sir so please use this extension yes, today onwards ee roju nunchi rep nunchi meer screen share chesina appudu i want to see this extension tomorrow onwards in your system yes. everyone is need to use this extension okay if you have any questions you can contact these people like uh, vinila or bavita okay sir yes, sir. or uh, tabraj or anand okay So thanks everyone so we'll talk tomorrow then